We have so many amazing options when it comes to color grading photos and videos. We can use presets for Lightroom, we can use LUTs for Premiere. And LUTs are amazing because we can buy LUTs from our favorite content creators to get similar looks and styles that they want. But as we talked about before, presets and LUTs, they're just a starting point for the color grading process. So with the LUTs, you can do your basic color correction, you can make all your micro adjustments, you can get your footage looking great and normal, and then you can just slap on a LUT. The best part for me about LUTs is that they have an intensity slider. You can whoop and whoop. You can increase or decrease the intensity of that slider to give you the look that you're after. But have you ever added on a LUT, you crank it on, it goes to 100% and bang. Totally blown out, totally out of proportion, looks silly, not at all the color that you are looking for. In Premiere, that's not a problem because we have that intensity slider. So if it goes too much to one extreme, if those colors looks too blown out, if it looks too unrealistic, we can just dial back that intensity. And that's just a great tool to have at your disposal, right? To be able to increase or decrease the intensity of a LUT. But when it comes to Lightroom, I can't tell you how many times I've wished there's been an intensity slider to increase or decrease the intensity of a preset without having to go in and manually change all the different settings to keep that cinematic look that we like and that we're going for. Couldn't find it, didn't exist until now. I say until now, but I'm just being dramatic. I don't actually know when this preset for Lightroom came in until very recently. I didn't even know that you could have presets for Lightroom. So if you didn't know, then you are in good company. So the preset that we're talking about is called the fader. And what the fader does is when you run that plugin, that preset for Lightroom, it gives you a little slider that pops up and you can slide that guy all the way down to zero, all the way to a hundred. And if you want, all the way past a hundred. Do you ever apply a preset and it doesn't seem to be doing enough and you just want to enhance it a little bit more? Well, now with this, you can. You just drag it up and you increase it. What I'm going to do guys is I'm going to leave a download link for the fader in the description of this video. So you can download it, you can, you can install it, you can use it, you can make the most out of it you can save yourself hours of time and frustration like I have but in this video I'm going to be running through how to download it how to use it what it looks like and hopefully we can get your photos looking even better with presets let's get into it let's jump into the computer I'll show you how to use the fader and how it works so to get there all we need to go to is the URL www.capturemonkey.com slash the fader. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna be linking this in the description so you can just click it and follow along. You don't worry about having to type it down or anything silly like that. So when you're on the fader on Capture a Monkey, you just scroll down and you're gonna see it download the fader. So let's install that. I'm working on a Mac, so it might look a little bit different if you're working on a Windows. I'll go to my downloads folder and I can see it has downloaded the fader as a zip. We're just gonna extract that. So just to get that set up and installed into Lightroom, all you have to do is go to to file plugin manager you're going to see here it's got some basic plugins already installed you can see here the fader for me is already installed you're just going to hit add and you're going to navigate to where you saved that plugin in the first place you're going to select it and then you're going to hit add plugin and then you're going to hit done and that is it that is the plugin just totally installed on Lightroom for you so now let's see it in action let's look at this photo of me in a tree let's apply a preset first of all so I'm going to add my subject in nature preset. As you can see, this photo is already pretty dark. It doesn't look too great. So what we can do about that is we can use the fader. I would like this preset. I like the colors it's giving me. I just want to reduce that intensity, right? So I'm going to go up to here, file, plug in extras, and then we're going to move over to the fader. We're going to click on the fader. It's going to run it and it's going to do its thing. Now we have to navigate to where that preset is. It's not just going to work with the original one, right? So we have to cancel this. We have to reset. Now that we know the preset that we want to use, we have to remember the one that we want to use. We have to remember which folder it is in and we just hit reset. So we're starting with our clean photo and we do those same actions again. We go to file, plug in extras and hit the fader. So we go to my presets folder. And if you remember, my one was subject in nature. And then we can see that's it. That's how it looked originally. And that is at a hundred percent. Now where the amazing thing comes in is now that we can reduce the intensity of that preset. And what it's basically doing is it's, it's mapping two images, right? It's mapping the 
the preset image in front and the original image behind and it's just going to reduce the intensity of that preset just to dial it back but it's doing that very cleverly because it's also adjusting those settings it's super smart and it's a great 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 tool i cannot recommend it enough so now let's take a look if we drag it all the way down to say zero that's with nothing on that's what the original photo looks like so now if we drag it back up to a hundred that's 100% of that preset. Now say we apply a preset and it's just not doing enough. We just wanna take it just a little bit further. Well, what we can do is we can just mm, crank it up just a little bit more and you see how it's just intensifying that preset even more beyond 100%, beyond the original preset. It's just adding extra contrast, extra darkness, extra saturation. All of those things are being added in past what the original preset was doing. If you're a Premiere Pro user, you know you've got that intensity slider when you add a LUT under the creative module. You can just increase it so you can go beyond what the original LUT was supposed to look like. Now we can do that in Lightroom. So where I think it's gonna look good is about half. So maybe 50% of the original preset. And that is a really nice starting point. So we can see before and after, we've just got a little bit of those dramatic tones in. I'll pull those highlights down, maybe lift those shadows up a little bit more, add a little bit of that moody contrast, increase that vibrance, pull down the blues to hide that sky. And that's a pretty cool photo. So what we've done is we've taken a preset that we like, we use it, it's the style that we like, but sometimes on some photos it just doesn't work. It's too intense, it's not intense enough. Now with the fader, what that does is it totally fixes it, which I think is super cool. Okay, let's do one more as an example. So let's look at this photo and it is of my friend Brick. She sat down in front of this graffitied area and it looks great as it is, but we wanna add a preset to just intensify the, the look of this photo. So what we can do is let's scrub through our presets, see which one kind of looks cool as a good starting point. So I'm getting a good feeling about Beach Vibes. I think it looks pretty cool. We've got some interesting colors, nice lots of oranges, warms, but again, it's just too much. You would have to go on here and we would have to scrub through the settings and we'd have to start tweaking, moving things around until we got that preset more or less to where we wanted it to look to then start adjusting those individual settings. But now the fader comes in and we can apply that. So remember, we've seen which preset we want. We know which one looks best. So now we have to go ahead again reset it, remember the one that we wanted, we remember it was in my folder under Beach Vibes, and we go up to File, Plugin Extras, The Fader, and it's gonna move this guy out of the way so we can see what we're doing, and it's saved the last folder that we were in, we're gonna go to Presets, and it was Beach Vibes. Sometimes with the fader, because it is an extra plugin, it's not always gonna be 100% accurate. So did you see just then, it took a while for it to load. It stayed on the original photo, but over here in the thumbnail preview, the preset had been applied. Now it took me a while to figure out what was going on. Now you can't just click, drag, and let go and expect to see changes. That's the only flaw that I found out with the fader. So if you click, drag and let go of the slider, it's not gonna update in our main viewfinder and our main preview window in Lightroom. But you can see over here in this thumbnail preview, well now that's zero, that has gone down to no preset. But on our main view, you can still see the preset has been applied at 100%. The way to get around that, and this took me a while to figure out, a little bit embarrassing, but I couldn't find anything online, so hopefully this helps you. If you click and hold and drag, just don't let go. And never let go, never let go. I'll never let go. Don't let go of that slider, right? If you don't let go of the slider and you keep increasing it, then you're gonna to start to see your changes. So cool, so let's have a look at 100%. That was the original preset that we applied. Remember, we can go beyond that and we can push that even further. It's gonna dramatize that photo even more. But I think if we just decrease it, we put it down to around the 70% margin and this is what we're left with. And I think this, Color-wise, looks really cool. This is more in line with what I wanted when I was thinking about this photo and thinking about editing this photo. So we can hit OK, those changes have been saved. We can see before and after. And then now we will go through and make the micro adjustments. I'm not gonna make the micro adjustments in this video, guys. This is just all about using the fader. So being able to increase and decrease the intensity of presets using 
with the fader. If you do want to see some of my Lightroom color editing videos, I'll link it just in the top right corner here. You can click it and you can see how I apply presets and what I do to tweak from there. But this is just focusing on the fader. So this gives us a really nice starting point for the colors that we want to edit with. And that's it guys. I hope you found this video useful. I know my mind was blown when I found out about the fader. I can't tell you how many times I've applied presets and it's been too dramatic or not dramatic enough. And I just wanted to increase the intensity just like you can do in Premiere. I've never once applied a LUT in Premiere and thought, perfect, let's go with that. I've always had to decrease that intensity quite a lot just to kind of get the color look that I'm wanting after I've done my color adjustments. But never have I come across anything that can do that in Lightroom. And I cannot believe I finally found it and I wanted to show it with you guys. So I hope you found it useful. I hope you use it. Again, I'll include that download link in the video. And if you liked it, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give this video a like. Consider subscribing if it's something that you're into. If you wanna learn about photography, videography, editing, color editing, all of that kind of good stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll get something good out of it as well. And I will see you in the next video.